I got a call from ex FedEx Jimmy this morning. He wanted to go detecting. I said, it's 23 degrees. Are you crazy? He said, yeah, you want to go? I said, yeah, I guess so. I called Doc, and guess what? He's going too. Stay tuned. We'll check it out. I told y'all I wasn't another crazy man out here. Look at that. Ex FedEx Jimmy's here, and the Doc's over there hitting the beach already. Man, I tell you, let's see what we can find. It's gonna be frozen whenever we find frozen gold. We'll take it. All right, my first find in 23 degree weather. What is it? It's a dime. We'll take anything today, buddy. Cause I don't know how long we're gonna last. If you guys notice it, the uh, tide did come up. You would chew away at the beach a little bit since we were here last time. Still got that frozen ice up here though, but it does eat it down a little bit. So I'm gonna check right here on this edge where the uh, tide has eaten away about. That's like about six inches of beach right there, so that's pretty good. All right, let's check it out. All right, looks like we're moving up in denomination now. Got a quarter that time. That's better than the pennies and the dimes. All right, we're still finding a few. There's my man's FedEx Jimmy right there. And Doc's way down. All right, I got a really strange hill on that one. And I see just a little bit of shininess down there. I like what it looks like so far. Oh my God, I think we got us a ring. Oh, look at that. I gotta take my glove off of this one. I got to take my glove off of this. Oh, look at that. I think we got us a ring. And I think it's gold. And it's got a couple diamonds on it. I can't believe it. That's awesome if I find a gold ring on my first hunt of 2018. That is gonna be awesome. I can't believe it. That was the strangest reading. Good God, I, I will guarantee that's gold. Nothing else stays out here in this uh, salt water and looks that pretty. Awesome! I love it! I think we got gold, Jimmy! Awesome, bro. All right, awesome. hold your hand out, buddy. Here it is. You ready? You tell me ready. if you think it's gold. What do you think, man? It looks good. I can't read it. Can you get some glasses on? It looks gold, though, doesn't it? It looks good. I like it so far. Awesome! I'd love to get a nice gold ring in the first hunt of 2018, brother. And the winner is... Can you read it? Because that's the bright sun. We're trying to get a little guy out here. Jimmy said he thinks he might be able to see it. Looks like 10K. 10K! That's what I'm talking about! Sweet! Alright, got me a new car for 2018 right there. I had to clean up to see if it's a uh, driver or not. All right, let's get it. Let's get the bag. I was still getting coins. This hole right there, both of them had a coin in it. Uh, and we've been gridding it off. Jimmy's down there, and we're gridding off the sand. If you can see our track marks we made in the sand as we gridded off this area, because there's a lot of hits in here. Uh, we both found right many coins. And that one gold ring, so we're going to keep trying this area right here for a little bit longer. All right, I got something awful shiny just popped out of the sand. Look at that right there. Can you see it? I think it's one of those funny coins. We're getting into them again here. Look at that. It is. That is some kind of foreign coin. Look at that. Look how clean it is in the center. It's got to be silver to be that clean. 50 something. Pesos. Interesting. We're back into the foreign stuff. Interesting stuff. I just kicked something out of the hole and it is big. I can see it. Can you see that? Look at that. That thing is huge right there. I don't know what it is yet. But it's big and copper looking. What is it? Uh, oh, it's some kind of uh, earring. I believe it's an earring. Could it be gold? I don't think so. I see some copper on it. Some tarnish. It could be, I guess, but I don't know. It's awful gold looking on this side. This side's really gold looking. Look at that. That could be gold. Look at that. I don't know. That's kind of copper looking on that right there. We'll have to test that when we get home. But... I like the sound of this one. That's got a gold sound to it too right there. A nice deep sound. But we'll see what we got here. Ah, It's out. It's out whatever it is. We'll try to spread out much as we can so we have less, less leaning down to do here. 
All right, it's out. It's out right there somewhere. There. Ah, it's a quarter, I think. Hold on, let's check it out. Let's check it out here. Ah, let's see what it is. It's a nickel. Nickels give you the same sound as gold. That nickel tricks me every time when I think it's gold. All right, got another big brass thing here. A copper looking job here. Look at this right here. I think it's some kind of jewelry. Well, I think it's probably brass because it's a dual hearts, interlocking hearts. That's pretty cool looking. I think that's some cleanup kind of pretty actually. But it's not going to be real. Unless it's rose gold or something. That'd be the only way that'd be real. All right, guys, we got another big copper down here. Check it out. Look at that. I think it's going to be another one. If I had to guess. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. is... All right, Doc, what you got, buddy? I don't know, a foreign coin. One of like, Just like one of the other ones, I guess. Yep, looks like it's another one of those foreign coins. Let's see what we got on the back side of it. Can you see anything on it? Yeah, it's got a center. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Got a center and then a ring around it like that other one did. Yeah. Cool deal. All right, man, let's keep hunting. What you got, Doc? Uh, looks like it's another Asian coin. Oh, another foreign coin. Yeah, amazing how them things are coming in around here. Yeah. That's crazy. And we look like we uh, found the rest of them about 100 yards that way, so this whole area between there and there might have some more. Hey, Jimmy, have you had any luck lately? Yes, sir. Well, you got, got something good? Show me something, buddy. Look at that. Super starfish. Yeah, that's pretty, man. Look at that. That hasn't been lost long either. No, it hasn't. Because uh, that thing's just as shiny as, like, brand new. And it rang good job, pretty. man. Good job. Thank awesome. You. Let's go find some gold now. Absolutely. All right, buddy. All right, somebody trying to tell us something right here. Are we a bunch of dumbbells for being out here on the beach in sub freezing weather? I think we might be, <laughs> but we're here. <laughs> Me, Jimmy, and Doc are doing it. All right, we got another surface find. Check it out. Down right on the surface. You can see how the it's been eat out really bad right here, and it's dropping some of the stuff that's in the in the bank here down. And the heavier stuff will stay here while the sand washes down. Check it out. Down right there. All right, I think that's gonna be a wrap. Man, I've been over here four hours out in sub freezing weather, but we did pretty good. Doc's gonna head on back down and still going, and Jimmy's already gone, but uh, I, no telling, Doc might be here till after dark, who knows? Be down to teens tonight, too. Anyway, let's uh, pack our stuff up and head on out, man. We did good today. We'll check it all out when we get back to the house. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the first hunt of 2018. And what a hunt it was! Awesome! We ended up with gold, silver, and diamonds! I can't believe it! Let's check out what we got. I got some other kind of really interesting stuff I'm going to go over with you right now. Hold on. Let's check it out. All right, we'll start with the junk first. I got me a matchbox car. I uh, some other key and some other stuff. Uh, several jewelry items. Uh, I think that's off of a piece of jewelry right there. This has got Gucci written on it right there. I don't know if you all see that or not on the screen there. Uh, this was a heart. I uh, thought it could be gold. I actually have not tested that, but... I saw the little uh, corrosion on the edge, so I knew it wasn't there. Now, this, I thought it could be, uh, the color and all how it looks. But I tested that, and, uh, and that is not gold. I did test that. This is gold right there. I'll put a picture, a little better picture on the side there. And it's got a little diamond in it. I can't believe it had a little tiny diamond. I'll show a nice little picture of that. That's awesome there, isn't it? I can't believe it. And we got lots of coins. We got six quarters, I think 15 dimes, four nickels, and 13 pennies. Isn't that crazy? A lot of coins today. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, we did get some really strange coins today. We got three foreign coins, a wheat penny, and a button. We'll talk about each one of these. All right, this is a uh, Chinese coin. And let me uh, get the paperwork here on that. I actually printed out. I actually looked all these up online and got the information on all of them. Uh, this one right here is from China. It's from, it was uh, made in between 1903 and 1911. So it's pretty old coins. It's over 100 years old, which is kind of cool. Why, what is it doing on the beach? I have no clue. But another interesting thing is this one right here. This is a 1910. And that one right there is from Sweden. And uh, it is silver. This is a silver coin right there. And I'll put info up on the side on that one. That's pretty cool right there. I'm glad we got silver today. 
Uh, this is a five peso, and that's from the Dominican Republic. Um, and that's uh, that's actually a newer coin uh, that was made 22 to 2010. I think the dates on on I can't remember what it is right now, but um, and I put the information up on that one on the side there. Uh, this one right here is a wheat penny, and we got a colonial button. Check it out, a nice little colonial button. Very strange uh, collaboration of stuff here. It really is. Uh, my friend, he got some uh, coins. He Doc was down there with us. I'm gonna show you some pictures of his stuff too here in just a second. And uh, also Jimmy, uh, FedEx Jimmy, I'm gonna show you his stuff too. But uh, I know Doc got some foreign coins, and they, he's been getting them for a while now. So we're not really sure how they're getting in there, but it could have been pumped from offshore or somebody dumped them there. We don't know. But oh, Doc killed the clad with over seven dollars in coins. He also got two of the foreign uh, coins uh, with one of the Chinese, just like mine. Uh, Doc also had a toe ring, colonial button, six wheat pennies. And if you look up on the top right, it's a colonial copper, which he says he's uh, matched up to a British farthing. Man, what a collection off of a beach. Old FedEx Jimmy didn't do bad himself. He ended up with a lot of clad, uh, a couple tent spakes, some junk metal, and one beautiful sterling silver 925 starfish ring. You can look at it on the top right hand side. That is a beautiful ring. It came out of sand looking like it was brand new. Alright, thanks for coming along on my first adventure in 2018. And we got a lot more to go in 2018. We're going to find some really cool stuff here. Just hang in there with me. I'm lining up all kind of adventures coming up in the future. So just stay tuned. Coming up. Alright, thanks a lot.